Yeah, I think we've gotten better and better, you know. Um, kind of, I've always felt that we just kind of need time, right? Need games, need experience together. Um, players with the players, the players with the coaches. Um, and uh, I think we're kind of hitting our stride a little bit. And uh, with that, maybe most importantly, our team is gaining some confidence. I think we're feeling pretty good right now mentally. And um, I said this last week, and it's just a matter of keeping that foot on the gas. Been some obstacles the team has had to overcome thus far? Um, I think uh, getting to know each other has probably been the biggest obstacle, right? Um, you know, it's one thing to, to, for me to start this job back in April, but I started this job as they were starting exams and then we went away from each other for three months. And so starting August 2nd is really when we started our lives together on the soccer field, right? And yeah, the relationships are massive, but you know, let's face it, we're a soccer team, right? And so, um, as I just said, like, uh, us getting acclimated with one another, us figuring out what are we all about as a team, right? Um, you know, what's our style of play gonna be? Um, who's gonna play where? Um, how are we gonna connect with one another? Um, coaches with coaches, coaches with players, players with players, all of it. So just the familiarity, and that's why I say, games just, they matter. Training matters. Training matters, but we've treaded so lightly in training because our team, our roster numbers are so thin. Um, we've just been kind of saving stuff for games in many ways. And, uh, so with each game, I think we just we get a little bit better and better. When you have a roster the size that you do, how do you try and manage that now moving into ACC play where every single game does matter on another level? Yeah, 100%. Um, obviously, always a big difference between one game weekends and two game weekends. And it doesn't matter whether your roster is 21 or whether your roster is 31. You know, you can always approach those weekends differently. Um, and uh, now um, it'll be no different, right? We've been, each of the last three three games, we've literally used every field player on our team. Right, and so we're trying to see, you know, what we can get from every single human being because on those double weekends uh, we may be calling on everyone. Thoughts on Boston College? Yeah, they're a good team. You know, they uh, very much a soccer playing team. Um, they like to keep the ball. They like to possess and build out of the back. And um, we're excited to play a team um, with that kind of style. And uh, obviously, it's a league game, and they're a team that. Uh, the last three times um, Florida State has played Boston College, uh, three three times ago, Boston College won the game. Two times ago, uh, Florida State won the game four to three. And then last year it was four to one, but it was still zero zero at halftime. So um, Boston College has a little bit of history, recent history of uh, giving this team a challenge. And uh, we expect no less on uh, Friday. When you guys go up there, and it's it's an interesting pitch that they have, artificial turf, um, maybe a little bit of a narrower field. How do you guys adjust to that and adjust what you guys do? Yeah, I think um, we, we we're not going to talk about it a whole lot, to be honest. You know, it's still going we're going to keep the soccer the soccer and our style the style. Um, um, we're gonna we're gonna get on some turf Friday morning and touch a little ball on a little bit of the ball on on the turf and get used to that role. Obviously, we have access here to IPF and we go on that once in a while. But we made the decision this afternoon to stay outside and stay on grass and stay with us and um, and just make the soccer the soccer and hopefully that's good enough on Friday. Coming from the SEC stylistically, what have you come at least until, what have you seen different that's in the ACC play? You know. That's, uh, what do they call that, a loaded question? Um, uh, I, I think this, this conference um, is, uh, and, you know, the, the SEC, I don't, I don't know that, that there's um, a conference, you know, top to bottom, really, um, as, as competitive, right, it, as the SEC, right? It is just, it, I feel like every single game is a bloodbath. Right, just a bloodbath. Um, whether it's personal or whether it's teams just don't like each other, um, it's just crazily competitive. Um, this league, um, obviously, ultra competitive, ultra talented. Um, a lot of the best players in the country are in this league, and uh, a lot of really technical players in this league. A lot of really cerebral players in this league. Um, a lot of heavy-based possession teams in this league. And um, that's certainly what this program has been. Um, this, 
this program along with the Virginias and, and the Dukes and some others have been kind of the, the, the staple um, in that way. And uh, I like to think that we've continued that here since, uh, since I took over a couple months ago. And I think we're playing a pretty attractive brand, yet we're also trying to attack, trying to score goals. And uh, obviously in the last couple games, we've scored some goals. And um, we hope to be able to continue that as we enter, obviously, competitive, competitive league play. Are you seeing are you seeing the movement off the ball improve? Yeah, I think so. I think again, it's it's uh, it is, and it's it's with everyone really, from our from our wide backs to our center backs being comfortable penetrating off the dribble to Leilani in at the six, getting more comfortable in the pockets and how to find the ball and her confidence in getting on the ball in there, and then the front group our our, our tens. You know, Clara's always doing her thing, and she's you know she's phenomenal and. Uh, and Jenna's been getting on the ball since day one at South Carolina. She's been terrific also. And then the last couple of games, we've needed it. And Maria is kind of hitting her stride. And uh, I think you guys are poised to talk to her after this. I mean, it's something we've needed and uh, out of her. And I think she's really gaining some confidence and believing in herself. And um, I, think, I think she started to break out of that shell on Thursday against Florida Gulf Coast and then followed it up. I mean, I'll tell you what. No matter how talented you are, no matter what sport, no matter whether you're a 38-year-old professional athlete or an 18-year-old kid in college, the brain matters, right? And and your brain and believing in yourself and feeling like you're the, the queen of the world or the king of the world versus feeling like you can't get out of your own way. It all matters, right? And it's all of us, right? Um, and uh, Maria's hitting her stride and we need it. And then, uh, and then up front, we've got a collection of kids who are scoring. I think we have now goal scorers, um, 10 different goal scorers on our team. Maybe uh, one with three in Biazza, which is nice. You talk about kind of starting to kind of get in a little groove and start to, you know, do a little bit less thinking. Um, sometimes we think too much, all of us do as human beings, and we just got to trust ourselves and trust our gut and, and play and go. And I think Biazza's getting into that place, and I think we have six or seven kids with two goals apiece. So, so between the movement and the confidence um, and the connections out there, I think it's coming together at the right time. What would you like to see from Maria over the duration of this season? Uh, you know, I said to her after the Florida Gulf Coast game, I said, you, you were great last night, right? And I said, tell me about that. She's, she, her, her response was, I felt free. I felt free, right? And obviously, we've got a system, and we've got a structure, and we've got things that we're asking of the kids. But then within that, right, that freedom, I guarantee you when she says that, that word means emotionally and mentally free. Right, not physically to do whatever the heck she wants to do out there, but it's just an emotional and, and I don't mean to sound cheesy here, but almost a spiritual freedom. I'm, I'm just gonna go play. I'm, I'm Maria, and there's a reason why I'm here, and I'm good. I'm gonna go be Maria, and so um, I want that from her, but I want that from all of our players. You Thanks. said in previous interviews, any team that is worth a grain of salt is owned by the players. How do you maintain order with this ideology? 